Hi y'all, welcome back to Geek Homestead. Um, I'm Erin. Um, welcome back to our kitchen. Today we are making apple butter. Uh, my sister-in-law, Elizabeth, uh, gave us a kit for it a couple years ago for Christmas. Uh, we made it with apples um, and the mixture of spices that they had and it made about six pints of apple butter which we almost didn't need to can because we ate it up so fast. Um, but we found a good sale on apples at the local Sam's Club, so um, we're going to tackle um, this today. Um, got about 16 pounds of apples. Um, my husband is peeling right now. Um, I'm going to be coring them. I'm putting them through the food processor to puree it down. Um, and then we're going to cook it. Yeah, um, it's going to cook down with the spices um, for a little while. Um, and so we thought we'd take y'all along today. Um, and we'll be right back. Hi y'all, we're back. Um, this is about what about um, 24 pounds of apples looks like. Um, we spent the last hour and a half um, coring, peeling, and pureeing them. Um, Garrett's a little tired of holding a uh, potato peeler. Um, but we're going to cook this down um, for about half an hour or so until it gets um, to a good smooth thickness. Um, I've added um, 8 cups of apple cider to it and about almost two cups of lemon juice um, to help it um, and uh, as you can see here I'm stirring in um, extra cinnamon um, so you can cook cinnamon down but you can't really cook the allspice and the cloves that it calls for um, and we also like extra cinnamon um, flavor um, so we're going to cook this down and then um, in a little while we'll add um, some sugar to it and um, and the rest of the spices. So um, we'll see you in a little bit. Hi y'all, we're back. Um, the apples have been cooking for um, close to an hour now. Um, at about 40 minutes of cooking, they were um, soft enough that I was able to add in all the sugar to it and um, let that kind of simmer for a little bit um, make sure it all got dissolved in and now I just added the spices um, it's a mixture of um, it's like two parts cinnamon uh, one part allspice and about one part of the cloves um, and now we're just going to stir all that up here and, and then this is supposed to um, cook over a medium heat for at least an hour until um, you know, it, it finishes cooking down. There's still a little bit of kind of lumpy apples in there, but they're getting really soft, so um, they cook down some more and they should be, you know, full like applesauce consistency. So um, we're just going to let this continue to cook and um, stir it every now and then because it is starting to get a little thick on the bottom sometimes um, and we'll let you know how it goes hi YouTube um, we're back um, this apple butter has been simmering for about an hour now with the spices in it and um, we just added some um, two more tablespoons of cinnamon and about another tablespoon and a half of allspice um, just to make it a little bit darker and um, so it tastes a little bit better. Um, Garrett's mashing a couple of the lumps and stirring it up. Do not get this stuff on you. It is lava. It does not want to come off. It will yeah. stick to you and burn and burn and burn. Yeah. Don't ask me how I know. It is very hot. Um, just be extra careful when so you're you, stirring it. Um, so you do a pot as big as we did. You know, we kind of went a little overboard. Yeah, that's a big pot. Um, if you need to, wear you know, um, pot holders. <laughs> this is a long. This is my. Uh, this is a grilling spatula. <laughs> so this little thing was. This was too short. Yeah. So we will. Um, keep cooking this for a little while and we'll give you an update um, a little bit later. You can see this starting to thicken a little bit. Yeah, it is starting to thicken up. That's good. It's supposed to mound on a spoon when it's 
um, proper consistency. That's not quite ready yet. No, not quite. It's getting there, though. But it needs to, there's still more to cook. Yeah. Alright, we'll see you in a little bit. Hello, YouTube. Well, this is what we got now. It's been, it's, it's simmered for a little over six hours. Um, we got some going in the, getting the water bath can ready to go. Um, wish we had made a little mess. It started, it started popping, it started popping really good and burns like crazy. But, look at that, that does not look great. I can't wait to have some on these biscuits. How many are you going to put in there? I'm going to be able to get four of these um, pints in here mm. um, at a time, and then um, once it starts boiling, we'll start the timer for 10 minutes. Um, then it says turn, it, turn the fire off, let it sit for a couple, pull them out and the cool off, and then we'll do it over again. So all right. we're all done. So how tight you do the do the lids? Uh, you screw you screw them down to just tight. So just like with a pressure. Yeah, just like with a pressure canner. Oh, wow. um, that's how. Yeah. But that stuff looks great. Can't wait to eat that. It's gonna. Hi y'all, we're back, and they couldn't resist eating some right now. How does it taste, y'all? Mm, good. It's so good. It's mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna stop the video now because I gotta eat some too. Bye. Hi y'all, welcome back. Um, we got all the apple butter um, in jars and um, water bath canned. Um, had them each in there for about 10 to 12 minutes before we pulled them out. Um, the 25 pounds of apples that we did uh, made 19 pints, as you can see in, uh, in the picture here. And then this little bitty jar here is about 6 ounces. That's what was left over scraping the pot and everything. Um, so we're gonna put this stuff away when it cools down and definitely enjoy this for at least a little while. I'm not sure how fast it'll go, but we'll see. Um, hope y'all enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.